Hello and welcome to the P2P setup for Uniview Tech Video Recorders. In this video we will show you how to connect your recorder to the internet and use one of our apps to view your cameras remotely. The Guard Live app or Guard Viewer app are available from the Play Store and the Apple Store. The first step is to physically connect your recorder to your network with an Ethernet cable. One end plugs into the network port of your Uniview Tech NVR and the other plugs into your router or network switch. Once physically connected, go to your recorder's menu and select Network followed by P2P. If on the P2P page you see that the device status is Offline Network Disconnected, head back to the Network page for a slight configuration change. On the network page, click the tab for Enable DHCP and click Apply. Wait just a few seconds for the recorder to update the network configuration and then go back to the P2P page. Hopefully your device status now says Network Connected, but if not, do give Tech Support a call and they can talk you through setting it up. We want to uncheck the Add Without Sign Up button and click Apply. The QR code for connecting to P2P can also be found under the Maintenance tab and System Info. The Guard Live app will open directly to the Add Device screen, where you can click Add Device and use the camera to scan the QR code. Click Add Device again, name the device, and click OK. You may have to swipe down on the screen to refresh your app's connection. It may take a minute or two, but just keep swiping down to refresh. Click on one of the available cameras to pull up the live view for that camera. If you see a red dot next to your recorder, this means there is most likely an update available for that device. Click the three dots next to your recorder and continue following the red dot to get to the update page. Finally, click Upgrade. From the Guard Viewer app, you'll have to select the menu in the top left to begin. Click on Devices, followed by Add, and then Scan. Use the camera to scan the QR code, and then name the device. Avoid clicking Start Live View at the bottom. Instead, click the disk icon in the top right. Again, you may have to swipe down on the screen to refresh the connection to the app. This app will also show a red dot on the device if an update is available. It will appear on the P2P Upgrade option, and then on your recorder name at the top of the next page. You can also update the recorder locally by going to the Maintenance tab and Menu, followed by System Update. Make sure the Cloud Upgrade radio button is checked under the NVR Upgrade tab, and click Check for Update. If one is available, the Upgrade button will highlight. If not, you'll get a message that it's the latest version. If you're connecting to the recorder by its web portal, simply log in and go to the Setup tab. Select Upgrade in the menu on the left, and then Check for Update next to Cloud Upgrade. If one is available, you'll get a menu similar to this where you can click Upgrade to begin the installation. A progress bar should appear, and the recorder itself will reboot. After the reboot, you will have to log back into the recorder with the password or the pattern. With the recorder updated and enrolled in our app, 
we can verify the account information on the recorder. Going back to the P2P page in the recorder, we'll reveal a username and device name now listed. When you open the Guard Live app, the device name will be available pretty much immediately. But to get to the username, you have to click on me in the bottom right. In the Guard Viewer app, clicking the menu in the top left will show you the username. And then clicking the Devices menu will take you to the device name. If you wish to remove the recorder's association to whatever app it's currently connected to, in the recorder you can go to the P2P page and click on Logout. You also have this option from the app. You can click the three dots followed by Delete Device in the Guard Live app, or click on your device followed by Delete in the Guard Viewer app. Either app creates a cloud account in the StarForLive.com webpage. You can register directly with Star for Live. This is done by creating an account or logging into Star for Live and clicking Add in the Device Management page. It will request a registration code, which is available on the P2P page of the recorder. Simply type the code as it appears on the recorder and click Add. You can change the name of the device if you wish, and then click OK. You can also use this method to add the device to your apps. That method will be shown on the right. From the Star for Live page, however, click the E icon that says Access Web Page next to your recorder. You may have to allow pop-ups. This should take you to the web portal of the recorder, just as if you were on the local network connected to the device. You can select the cameras listed from the left to populate them in the window on the right, or use the drop downs next to the camera to select a specific stream from that camera. When adding devices by registration code in the app, you may run into issues connecting that may require you to fully log out of the app and then log back in. For this reason and others, if the QR scan is available, it is highly recommended over the registration code method when registering by app. This has been the Uniview Tech tutorial video for P2P setup. For more information, check out one of our other videos or contact tech support at 888-288-7644. As always, we look forward to serving you and have a great day.